This is Chippy from UMC Portal and uh, today I've got another uh, UMPC with me. It's the Umid M1 which for me is one of the most exciting UMPCs around at the moment. This is a retail version sent over again by Mobilex.eu. Thanks very much to them. There's also an iGo XP in here but uh, we'll unbox the Umid, give you a quick uh, overview and uh, switch it on for a few minutes and see what it's like. Uh, we've only got 10 minutes as this is a YouTube uh, video. So the UMID is basically a very small clamshell style UMPC running uh, Windows XP. It weighs under 400 grams. It's got a 102 4 by 600 screen, uh, 512 megs memory. There's the iGo, I'm going to put that to one side. It's uh, got an extremely attractive and interesting form factor. So that's the, uh, the box. This is uh, retail packaging. So M book. Actually, some people have called it the M1. I think we have it as the M1 on the portal. But let's zoom in and unbox it right now. So as I said, 4.8 inch uh, screen, touch screen, clamshell form factor. There's a picture of it there. And manual and there you go. That's the actual unit itself. Let me just quickly have a check, see what else is in here. We've got a battery pack which we're going to need, some adapters, lanyard, power, and power cable. But let me just quickly open this because this is uh, when we think about UMPCs that launched uh, seven inches uh, two years ago. This is how far we've got now. So 4.8 inch screen, 1024 by 600. There is a 480 by uh, 800 version of this. Full keypad. Let's take you around the device. Left hand side, there's nothing there, but you can see how thin and stylish that is. At the front, we've got on this side, I believe that's a SIM card slot, and then we've got um, an SD micro, micro SD slot. There's a microphone there. On the right hand side, we've got a little pull down flap which gives us access to USB and a little um, adapter port there which allows us to put a USB and I believe head or a microphone in there. There's power there. So there's not much in terms of connectivity around the device. On the back is where the uh, battery goes and it's absolutely <laughs> fantastically light and actually fits into a, a jacket pocket or even a, a jeans back pocket quite nicely. Looking at the uh, screen and keyboard then. Uh, you've got power button here and a Wi-Fi on uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth on off here. You've got a camera, stereo speakers um, and a standard keyboard which looks like it's uh, English but it's certainly QWERTY. So it looks like this is a European version of the device. So let's pop the battery in and see if this will boot up. So the battery just slots in there. It's a three cell, 17 watt hour battery. I wonder if it's got any charge. Nope, doesn't look like it's got any charge. Which is a bit of a shame, so I'm going to have to connect the uh, power supply. Okay, power supply connected. Let's uh, boot that up. Well, that's booting and it should be fairly quick because there's a fast SSD on that. Let's have a quick look at the accessories. We've got a uh, material pouch. These are the two adapters, one that gives you the full USB connectivity and one that gives you a headset uh, port or a headphone port because it comes with a headset that's got a special adapter. If you can see that, but there's a special adapter headset on there. So you can either use this or your adapter that you've got here. And there's a, a lanyard here. So that's booting up into XP right now. Just going to pop the accessories to one side. And this is probably first boot Windows XP. Let's just take this, uh, yeah. First boot Windows XP. So let me just push through this and we'll go into the uh, user interface. So I've just uh, gone through the startup process in, in XP connected to uh, Wi-Fi and obviously the first thing I'm doing is downloading Firefox. Everything's uh, pretty smooth and quick at the moment. This has got 16 gig SSD in it and uh, I tested this a few weeks ago in South by Southwest 
and the SSD is really fast so it makes a quite a big difference to the uh, Windows XP. It also uh, balances out the fact that it's only got 512 megs of RAM so if the actual disk does start swapping or the memory does start swapping into disk it's a fast disk to swap into so shouldn't have too much impact and 512 actually with a basic version of uh, Windows XP should be uh, fairly fairly good. Let's have a quick look at the uh, footprint so there's 140, 140 megs of RAM free and I've got Firefox running here. There's no uh, mouse pointer on this so it's all touch screen uh, there's, a, there's a stylus that comes with the device, slots into the bottom, bottom left there. Uh, so some tweaking of the XP user interface is needed, for example, pushing up the sizes of uh, some of the um, buttons and increasing the font size to, to large as well. But there's a nice touch layer on this, uh, which seems to have some stabilization on it, so actually clicking things with your finger is uh, fairly straightforward. So, let's... Um, Go to Firefox and load up uh, UMPC Portal. UMPC Portal. So you see the way I'm using this. It's a thumb, thumb style device. I'm going to have to get used to where some of these keys are. Thumb style device. So actually pretty good for things like microblogging and uh, web browsing, instant messaging, emails, that sort of thing. Um, actually a really nice keyboard. Uh, we've got all the function keys there as well so we can go full screen and uh, yes well I haven't got um, oops it's uh, come out of that I haven't got drag, drag, drag and grab on this yet so uh, I need to install that but uh, everything's working pretty well from what I can see at the moment um, it's actually a mono speaker I said stereo speakers but this one's blanked off here um, so that's actually only mono speaker, but it does sound sound okay. Maybe not uh, maybe not too loud, but good enough for uh, handheld use. I think switch the Wi-Fi off and the Bluetooth off very quickly with this button here, which is very handy for saving battery life. And if I okay, actually <laughs> there wasn't enough charge in the battery. So we'll leave it there then for the intro for the uh, M-Book, that's from UMID. Uh, this is available through uh, mobilex.eu right now. Looking really good, having, uh, having tested this before I know it's a very interesting device and I'm looking forward to, to checking it out uh, longer term. So this is Steve Payne, Chippy from umpcportal.com. For more information on the UMID M-Book or M1, go to the portal. Thanks for watching.